Blessings, Lafayette family and Facebook friends. My daily message for Tuesday, May 11th. And I remind you that daily messages, Sunday worship, sacred music, and other content are available at FountainChurchTallahassee.org. And join us on these beautiful grounds every Sunday at 10 for Drive Up Worship. My scripture today is from Psalm 145, verse 9. The Lord is good to all, and his mercy is over all that he has made. This is the word of the Lord. I read a fascinating article the other day. I didn't know I should have suspected that there are computer-assisted devices that help people who have vision problems, hearing problems, or speaking problems to communicate. And there are keys that trigger different words so that even if you can't necessarily conceptualize or see or hear a particular concept, you can learn how to express that concept through the keyboard. Now, someone clever thought about modifying that device and using it with a dog. And there is a dog named Bunny who has become quite adept at using this keyboard. But there was one really surprising turn. The dog, Bunny, looked in the mirror. Now, dogs don't recognize themselves in a mirror. Dogs don't seem to be aware of self in quite the same way that upper primates and human beings are. But after staring in that mirror for hours, the dog went to the keyboard and wanted to know what is dog and kept asking it over and over and then another time the dog typed in why am i dog and it's interesting to speculate what's going on in the mind of this canine and researchers think that there may be growing self-awareness and that this might tell us how we became aware, it may be tied together with language, or at least that may be one of the really important building blocks. Well, this means that our language may not only be shaping the way we think and communicate, but might be a key to our very sense of self-awareness. Well, if that be the case, then I suggest that we rededicate ourselves to the glorious Word of God, because if our words, if our language are so important, not just to how we think, not just to how we communicate, but to the very question of who we are, well, I want to be a gatekeeper in the house of the Lord before I am someone important somewhere else. I want to know that the concepts of love and forgiveness and mercy are in my heart, that they are part of who I even imagine myself to be. And so let's hope that if dogs become more self-aware, they won't fall into some of the same traps that we humans have. And instead, they might revel in a self-awareness that they are God's creatures. Let us pray. Lord, remind us to whom we belong, and may we rejoice as we fill ourselves with your word that your language of love, forgiveness, and mercy shall be a key to who we understand ourselves to be. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ.